Hi everyone! Welcome back. If you like these nails and you want to see how I created them, just keep watching! Right, so I have got some Madame Glam colours. Um, I grabbed a blue, but we don't end up using this blue in the end. So the colours that I've got are, not quite sure why I was doing that, um, Pink Liberty, uh, Magic Knight, this is the one we don't use, and the Boardwalk and Perfect White. We're going to use all of these apart from the Magic one. I've got these blush florals decals, which are, shush Billy, uh, these are my favourite at the moment. Look how beautiful they are. Oh my goodness. I love them. So we're going to be using all these and apart from the blue, sorry. And then I might use this and I actually, and I do end up using it at this point of the video. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it or not, but I do. So I am going to start by applying uh, the perfect white to two of the tips. So at the beginning of this video, I had a different idea. I was going to do a marble, which is why I got the blue out because the, the marble... I'd done, I'd done two marbles in the end, but I just felt like the marble design clashed with the florals. I just felt like they didn't go together. So ignore, you can see the marble in the background, ignore the marble, that is not going to be part of the set. So yeah, I had to kind of change my idea part way through creating this. I'm going to cut a section of the florals out. We're going to do a full nail of this, obviously, because you'll have seen the thumbnail. I'm just cutting off the edge because we don't need we don't need all the the edge there. So cut off anything that might be you know that's not worth putting on. So that's going to cover the whole nail. When I do decals, I'm going to leave this in real time so that you can see exactly how long it takes. Some of the older design. Uh, no, actually, no, no, no. Just ignore that. So you just, look, cover the back with water. You don't have to add too much, but because this is quite a long strip of decal, I did add probably a little bit too much, but I'm going to put the lid back on my little pot with my water in. And then I'm just going to rub the back with the with my little cleanup brush just to make sure that everywhere is covered. So I, I'm not sure how long it's been, but I'm able now to gently slide the backing. I was doing it carefully because it was starting to curl there. I think it's because it's such a big bit and I've not done, this is the second time I've done a big bit like this, but it works out quite nicely. I look, I dab off the, the excess water and then you can just stamp it where you want it on the nail. So you can see how quick decals are. They are so good and you can save 10% using my code natmug10 on these and you've just got like instant nail art. They're from Nail Sugar, I don't think I said, but I think everything's on the screen. Um, yeah, so that is, uh, there's going to be, oh my goodness, stop it you two. The boys, the dogs are getting Scott. Uh, it's because Scott was trying to sneak up on me. <laughs> just cut off any excess from around the nail as well. Right, so this part, we do have two white nails, remember? I just didn't, I just, yeah, pretend there's two white nails. And then I'm going to use Pink Liberty and the Boardwalk. And we're going to do two coats of these on one of the nails. I was going to say something and I forgot what I was going to say. All right, yeah, down below in the description box now, I've literally taken away all the information that's in there. All that's going to be in there is my link tree link with all my discount codes and links to my Facebook group, Nail Sugars group, my net, my page, all stuff like that. So you'll find that in my link tree link down below. Also in there is my my Amazon store link as well. So in the um, in my Amazon store, I've put things that I use and I've put things that you might find helpful. There's like nail products, nail tools and accessories there's like content creating stuff that you might find helpful uh there's there's different things in there so go and have a look yeah there's stuff that i use and stuff that i think might be helpful for you as a beginner or yeah there's other stuff anyway so that is literally all that's down in my description box because it was just full of stuff and i thought we'd condense it so it's yeah there we go right I've added another little decal section to my other white nail. I just wanted a little bit on the corner of that one, but there's quite a lot more than I expected, but I actually quite like how it looks. And I'm now just going to top coat them all with matte top coat. I've popped those in the lamp for 30 seconds. And now I am using Madam Jams, Madam Jams, <laughs> Madam 
I, I know, it's Madam Glam, isn't it? Not Madam Jam. I'm just using the white gel polish to create, no, it's not gel polish, it's gel paint, to create a French on this nail. So you could do this part before, before you top coat. I, I don't know why I decided to do it afterwards, but because I've done it afterwards, I'm going to use the gel paint. I always prefer to use a gel paint to create the, the, the French part of the nail, just because they are thicker and it's because I've top coated, top coated, because I've top coated it with matte. Um, if you, if I'd have done it over the, if you top, if you, <coughs> sort yourself out Nats, put your tongue back in. If you draw with gel polish or gel paint on a matte surface, the gel polish or the gel paint is less likely to, to run. Uh, so it's just a lot easier for me. Right, now I'm gonna pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. I am gonna go over this with, you could actually sprinkle the, the glitter that I'm gonna use into the gel polish, but I'm gonna go over this now with some top coat. This is the no wipe top coat, the shiny one. I'm gonna go, literally just around the white parts this would be the free edge part i suppose and don't cure it before you cure it this is now sugar's diamond dust glitter it's absolutely beautiful and it should be a staple in your collection again you can save 10 percent using my code netmug10 uh, you just sprinkle it over the uncured top coat and look how beautiful it is scott what are you doing you're making lots of noise, my love. Actually, it's not making lots of noise. That was an exaggeration. Um, it's half term this week, so you might hear children in the background. By the way, do this with a gloved finger. Do not do it. And that's Teddy. Teddy, are you going to say something? No. Cure it in the lamp. And then I use a, a hard brush just to get off any loose glitter. Because, you know, <gasps> look how pretty it's looking so far. I love it so much. Okay, this one now. We're going to do this now. Okay, so I've got some Preciosa crystals from, these are from Crystal Parade. These ones are white opals. These ones are clear. And these are all round flat back crystals, non hot fix. I've decided to use my two millimeter light pink pearls because they're super cute. I'm not quite sure what brand they are. They might be Zodiac or Preciosa, I'm not sure. And then those were Preciosa rose crystals. I need to move slightly. I, all my crystals I get from Crystal Parade. And again, you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. I've put some of the Crystal Fix. The Crystal Fix is from Crystal Parade also, FYI. I'm putting some of this on my nail. I've actually put too much on. So in a minute, I do, you will see me, I think you'll see me just sort of try and scrape some off. But I'm going to do a little, a little arch. I'm a little bit worried because the leaf blower man's outside today. And he's always out there when I'm doing a voiceover, but he's not close enough yet that I think you can hear it. So in a minute, you might hear the leaf blower man. As you look, you can see, I'm just, put, uh, there we go, there's me scraping some off. The glue I'd like to put on sometimes before I add the crystals, because it gives me a kind of template as to where I want to put stuff. I'm adding this metallic charm thingy on. I'm, I'm actually going to cure it in the edge of that gem glue. If you are going to do this on a client, I would top I would cure it into your top coat because this is not going to stick on there very well but I do do something in a minute that helps it to stick better um but for it to last on a client you obviously you want to you want to make sure that it's in your top coat or something not not doing it like this because this is do you know what, you know what I'm trying to say I'm sorry I'm not very good with my words today for some reason I'm filling in the where I put the gem glue with a mixture of the the pink pearls, the white opal crystals, the clear crystals, and the rose crystals. I felt like the crystal colours that I chose went really nicely with the colours of this set. So that's that's why I chose them, obviously, because you wouldn't want random colours, would you? That would be a bit weird. And I'm just, yeah, so I'm just filling in where I put the gem glue. Don't worry if there are gaps because we are going to fill them in with some caviar beads. I always feel like caviar beads finish off the design. Like it, yeah. So that's what it's looking like so far. I will just sprinkle some caviar beads out onto my paper towel. <clears throat> and then look, I'm just gonna, you can't see cause it goes a bit blurry here, which is a bit annoying. But anywhere there's a gap, 
I will just add I'll just add some some of these caviar beads and it just sort of yeah it just helps there was a, a gap here so I managed to move some of those and I added I think I put another crystal there yeah I did because it was too gappy too gappy there and then just keep filling any gaps in that you feel like need if you can see it <laughs> I'm also going to put some at the top here because the gaps between the crystals there were quite big. So three along the top there. And then once I'm happy with how that looks, I will pop that into the lamp for a 60 second cure because the crystal fix gem glue stuff needs 60 seconds. I'm just going to, there we go. Stop playing that. Shove it in the lamp for goodness sakes. <laughs> right, then I'm going to add a blob of gem glue at the bottom here quite a big one so that is going to help secure the the metal thingy i've just popped one of these big white opal crystals on when you squidge that down that's going to help the gem glue go around the metal thing and then wipe over with some isopropyl alcohol and that's that nail done which completes the set if you did like this video you might also like these i'll see you in the next one <laughs>